Gomez is really struggling. You know, she sprained her left knee a couple weeks ago, and it's been bugging her, I think, and she is struggling to get back into that flow. She sat out the year before last with a right knee ACL injury, like Shea Raff did, and I, I think, like the, uh, the game against Notre Dame tonight, she's struggling a bit to find her groove. That's a quick jump call, Mike, well, isn't it? That was really quick. That was really quick. Huskies keep it on the alternating possession, but wow. But is calling for the ball there, bottom of the screen. Rembert there with the rebound. Rembert with no desire whatsoever to dribble the basketball. No, none. <laughs> Once again, a hand check is called on Sue Bird. That's the second time they've caught it for that tonight. We're going to be here for a while as the officials continue to call this game this way. We've still got nine minutes to go in the first half, and both teams are over the limit. So everyone at home, get a, a pot of coffee brewing or I something. Guess, yeah. I know it's late. <laughs> Amy Duran gets it ahead, Walters in the game, finds Ralph, Shea takes the bump to get to the line. What shows you how strong Shea Ralph is is that she got fouled pretty hard on that play, and most players won't get the ball up on the rim. But Ralph is so strong in her arms and upper body that she gets pounded. Well, that wasn't all that hard. <laughs> but she gets the ball up there when her body contorted like that, making it look like she got fouled really hard. She was getting getting ready for the contest. But if you look at her shoulders and her arms, she is jacked. Got herself nine points here in the first half as the Huskies have opened up the lead to nine now. They continue to come with the full court pressure. Four of the five UCLA starters have two fouls now in the game. And again, UCLA does not have a lot of depth. You know, not at all happy with that goal. I thought his head was going to explode. And, and rightfully so, because some of these calls, and it's going both ways, but some of these calls have been really ticky tack. Well, one of the things the Huskies may have to get used to as the season progresses is. is now I know some officials get mad at me for saying this, but I don't think a lot of officials like to coach a game where a team presses all the time. Well, it makes it a, a lot more work for them. Well, you know, they got to run up and down, but it's hard to see, and that's for so much, it's, it's hard to see, exactly. It's hard for them to keep position. There's so much more opportunities for contact, but I think sometimes there's a tendency to start blowing the whistle, and you can get them real long games. Yeah, and the truth of the matter is, you cannot call every foul. Mm -hmm. And when you play that type of game, you are going to have more contact, and I'm sure there are a lot of fouls. Jay Rouse misses the three outside. There's Martin coming away with the uh, rebound. Pearson is looking at it. Flanagan, good look. Rembert, Curry misses the open jumper. Rebound taken one hand over the top by Tamika Williams. Jay Rouse has a turnaround sent back at her. Hustles for the loose ball. Jones' turnaround won't stay down, and Flanagan comes away with it. UCLA playing tough in the defensive end, and the Huskies not running offense to make them have to play defense. Oh, nice move. So UCLA can get any inside shot that they want sometimes, it seems. The Huskies have a harder time scoring in the low post. Melanie Pearson, who has made a reputation here at UCLA shooting threes with a nice move down low, is a good, strong follow underneath. And two for Asia Jones, her first two of the night. Paige Sauer up at the scorer's table, looking to get the lead for the Huskies. Rembert had the shot, decided not to take it. Too high for Hubbard to handle. Shea Ralph on the break. Shea Ralph coast to coast for two. 
You got to stop the ball defensively on the break, no matter who's back. And there was Pearson. I know she didn't want to guard Ralph, but it's a great play. No one stopped her. Flanagan all the way. Shea Ralph up there for the rebound. Same thing. No one stopped the ball. Hey, gang, the ball is the only thing that can score on the break. You got to stop that and then worry about your man. Kirsten Walters missing the three outside. Rebound taken away underneath by Hubbard. I know UCLA would like to believe they're a running team. I don't think they can continue to do this, though. Well, the game is, is being played right now at such a frenetic pace. I don't know if even UConn wants to keep it going, but it certainly plays into their favorites, like, I, like we were talking about, the nine deep. I mean, I don't think Hubbard wants to go up and down this way for 40 minutes. Samika Williams with an easy two down low as the Huskies continue to score quickly in the half court. 44-35 with still 6.08 to go in the first half. That's a, and a quick shot, and here come the Huskies again. And Shea Ralph just runs away from Pearson. That's a great testament to the speed of Shea Ralph because you're not supposed to be as fast with the basketball. And Pearson started ahead of Shea, and Shea still beat her with the ball. 5.54 left to go here in the first half, and UConn has themselves an 11-point lead at 46-35. Shea Ralph and Svetlana Brasimova have combined for 33 of UConn's 46. Join CPTV Friday night at 9 for Connecticut Forum, The Spirit in Our Lives. Don't miss this engaging panel discussion hosted by Bill Moyers on the importance of spirituality in our lives. That's Connecticut Forum, The Spirit in Our Lives, Friday night at 9 here on CPTV. And I heard that was a good show at Connecticut Forum. I had a lot of friends who work over there. UConn dentists love UConn hoops. All righty. J. Ralph, a seat on the bench, as I said, with 13. Svetlana Bostomova has checked back in. She's got 20 with still just under six minutes to go and a half. Flanagan. To the basket. Flanagan has had her way. Getting the ball right through the lane. Someone's got to stop her. Duran missing outside. Here comes Greco looking to push it back up. Little crossover move. Left handed scoop shot. So UCLA is getting every shot they want. The Huskies come down on the other end and take a rip. One pass and a quick shot. It's not going to get it for you. So a Schumacher touching it for the first time. Over the top, Paige Sauer got the spot and got two. And that's a better pass that time from yep. Abrasimova. More of a lob. You can't line drive and fire that ball in. You got to lob it over Hubbard, who was front and sour down low. That line is going to pick up that foul. For Mike, second. Mike, she cannot play Flanagan one on one, and Flanagan realizes that and is trying to drive right by her, which is a, a heads up play. By Flanagan. Elana Martin has come back in. Pearson goes to the UCLA bench, and Lucretia Flanagan, 5'7 sophomore, will be at the free throw line. Shea Ralph is back in, and Svetlana will sit down. So the Bruins with a quick start here tonight. And they're doubling up on the Huskies early, but you just had the feeling as you looked over at the UCLA bench and the Connecticut bench that if they were going to continue to play at that pace, it was not going to be in their favor. That's what the Huskies can do to you. They, they just wear you down. For 40 minutes, they play the same style and same tempo. Jay Ralph to the basket and is hit on the way. Fouled before the offensive foul. It, it was good position underneath by Martin, but Shea was hit before she made the contact with Martin, I believe. Let's take a look. Good decision to go to the basket because they had numbers. 
foul was called on Greco, I think, from behind. Shea was obviously not hurt on that play because she had a human lying on the floor to break her fall. <laughs> <laughs> Martin received the other end of that. Couldn't have felt good. Huskies on 9 of 12 from the free throw line as Philman comes back in and Hubbard goes to the UCLA bench. Kathy Olivier has done a good job of subbing on the UCLA side. You gotta, she's got to keep her troops fresh, and that's going to be hard against this Husky team. We've still got 4.38 to go in the first half, and the Huskies have reached 50. They're up 10. Los Angeles at night, and we welcome you back to our coverage of UConn basketball. We are at the Poly Pavilion here on the campus of UCLA. Mike Wilman along with Megan Pattison and the Connecticut Huskies after a rocky start have rolled here over the last 12, 13 minutes or so, and they are up 10, 50 to 40 with still four and a half minutes to go. And you see the 44-26 run in the last 12 minutes. Shea Ralph has had a lot to do with that. 15 first half points. Svetlana Brasimova with 20 here in the first half. But I can guarantee you that Gino Oriana is, is not happy at all. Not with the 61% shooting in UCLA. I know he's not happy with that. They've given up too many easy shots. And, and, and credit to UCLA for breaking that press with poise. Kirsten Walters picks up her second foul. And the thing that the Huskies cannot do right now is start complaining about the calls. You just have to change the way you're playing because that's the way the officials are going to call the game. A lot of players do that. They, they make faces and they get annoyed. Well, you know, that's just too bad. That's the way it is. Live with it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> you're tough. You got an exclamation point on it. <laughs> you should be a coach. <laughs> Lucretia Flanagan, 10 points and 3 rebounds against Notre Dame, has really matched those totals here in the first half. A little zone defense here by the Bruins. And Flanagan has really played well. Makes the steal, gets the 2, and now she's got 11 here in the first half. Well, Coach Kathy Olivier, as you see her all fired up on the sideline, said that Flanagan's best assets are her quickness with the ball and without it. And there you see why. Dave Sauer, a little turnaround at the free throw line, won't stay down. Rebound is hit underneath. And Amy Duran got a hand in the ball while she had a foot on the baseline, so it comes back to UCLA, and suddenly they can make this a game again. Down six with four minutes to go in the half. Well, at that time, I thought Sauer did a great job flashing to the high post, but she faded on that shot. She didn't go up strong, and that was the difference. That's why she didn't make it. Remember, looking for a little help, finds Greco. Greco gets a screen from Martin, goes back the other way. Remember, trying to force it inside, is able to. Seven on the shot clock. Greco has her pass stolen by Shea Ralph and then fouls her. Well, it was great hands there by Ralph, but Greco just not smart. You have to realize where the passing lanes are, and that's where all the hands are, so that's why bounce passes are so effective inside the key. Guaranteed, she bounces that ball. UCLA is running back playing defense after a scored bucket. Tamika Williams checks back in and Kelly Schumacher will go out. And Michelle Greco will go to the UCLA bench as Melanie Pearson comes back in. Pearson playing with a couple of fouls. Ralph misses the second of two. Chip out of bounds. Last touched by Rembert. And again, pure hustle on the part of Shea Ralph. Got the Huskies at possession. We'll have more from Pauly Pavilion when we get back. And the Huskies have the lead here over the Bruins with 3.32 left to play in the first half. And we will be back with you just after Thanksgiving when the Huskies are back home in the friendly confines of Gamble Pavilion. They'll be taking on the University of Washington. Hope you can join us for that game here on CPTV. Saturday, the 28th at 7.30. Paige Sauer leading the Huskies back out onto the floor with Walter.